For March 19th, we have, we tend to forget what God has done for us. We think, we think we must have done something right for him to have been so good to us. Anyone who's a believer in Jesus Christ uh, knows what God has done for them. And apparently our only evil sin that we committed was being born after Adam and Eve sinned. A story for which I don't believe at all, and is totally nonsensical and couldn't possibly be real. Snakes don't talk, and evolution is how man became what he is today. Lord God, I thank you for your word that assures me there is no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. Because through him the law of the spirit of life has set me free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8, 1, 2 There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life uh, in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Of course, you actually die. But um, this is more of a... I guess the second death, you know, after your death, you're dead, you know, which I don't believe in. I praise you with all my soul, Lord, and I never want to forget all your benefits. You are the one who forgives all my sins and heals my diseases, who redeems my life from the pit and crowns me with love and compassion, who satisfies my desires with good things so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. You, Lord, work righteousness and justice for all. All the oppressed. Psalms 103, verses 2 and 6. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. So he heals all diseases. That's why there was never leprosy or, or any horrible diseases going around that Jesus had to heal. us because God always healed them before Jesus' existence. Uh, no, I think people sprinkle blood on people and on houses and stuff. I mean... The Bible talks about mildew, and it says to, to sprinkle blood on the walls, and to, to kill a bird, and to splash water on one of them, and let it fly away. That's magical nonsense. That has absolutely nothing to do with how mildew works. You know, obviously God is inept. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. So merciful, in fact, that he would have you kill your son if he talks back to you, or is a drunkard. Who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy young is renewed like the eagles, unless you have to kill them for breaking one of the laws of the Lord Jesus, or I guess Lord Jesus God, Holy Spirit, triumphant, um, so d commanded so early on in the history of the Jews. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed, even though not everyone who commits a crime ever gets caught. Sometimes the killer gets away. But I guess they, the, those who were lost their loved ones should have just prayed harder. God would have just magically brought them to the murderer and have him convicted. But of course, thank you DNA analysis and all the many scientific advancements we have now in criminal justice for even allowing us to be able to catch criminals and uh, cameras and all these different things. Because without those technologies, we wouldn't be able to do half of what we do now. And we don't need God for that.